Greetings, knowledge seekers. The Force is with you. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to MIDI map the DDJ Rev7 with the new stem separation feature in the upcoming Serato DJ Pro 3.0. At the time this video is being made, only the public beta has been released for Serato 3.0. Serato is still collecting data on bugs and issues by letting everyone try it out. As Serato suggests, please don't use the beta version in a live gig. But mapping stem functions is relatively simple and you'll see that it really works with the design layout of the DDJ Rev7. In this video, we're going to cover how to MIDI map the stem functions in Serato to the Rev7, how the MIDI mapping works with the stem functions, as well as share with you a downloadable XML file that contains the MIDI mapping if you wish to skip the MIDI mapping part. But honestly, it's really easy to do. So I recommend just following along and mapping it yourself. Big shout out to Professor BX for creating the mapping that inspired this video, which is the one that's going to be available for download. But before we do this, let's grab some music from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Direct Music Service. Check out the description or the pinned comment below for discount codes. Now, if you're wondering, I have not pre-rendered my stems. I'm actually using my new MacBook Air M1, and it does a great job of rendering the stems upon load. It does take a few seconds, but not a huge amount of time compared to doing real-time on-load stem separation with an Intel MacBook. As for Serato stem functions, it's essentially a pad mode you can switch the deck to with your mouse. Before, we just had hot cue and save loop, but now we have stems. The top row of stems are to toggle or enable the vocals, melody, bass, and drums. Now if you notice, there are four buttons for stem toggles and four sets of stem effects. On the Rev7, you might think this is perfect to MIDI map on the main pad modes on the mixer section since the deck has eight total pads. But where else can we map that on on the Rev7? Well, up above the platter, we have our secondary set of four pads with four pad modes in the instant scratch section. What we can do is map the top row of four stem toggles in replacement of the hot cue section. While you can replace any of the four pad modes you want, the reason to choose hot cue is because we already have our hot cues on the mixer. Since these are secondary, you can use them for something else. Also, by replacing the hot cues up here with stem functions, you will have the stem toggles on your controller immediately activated when you power up and connect your Rev7 to your computer. Now keep in mind, the mapping stays with your computer and it won't work for another computer connected to the same Rev7 unless you share and activate the mapping on that laptop. So let's quickly map the stem toggles. We're gonna go into our preferences, hit the cogwheel, head over to MIDI, and we're going to select MIDI device, DDJ Rev7, and we're gonna make sure this is checkmarked, allow Serato hardware remapping. And also we're gonna make sure that enable output lighting is also checked. Next, we're gonna make sure we're in hot cue pad mode on the instant scratch section. We're gonna head over to where it says MIDI. And this is how easy it is to map this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take vocal, we're gonna map it on pad one, and then melody pad two, bass on pad three, and drums on pad four. And this is how you map it. You simply click on vocal, and then click the button you want it mapped to. Same with melody, bass, and drums. And now we're all set for deck one. Don't forget, you also have to do this for deck two. Now we can close the MIDI tab. Now if the stem toggles are all you want to use, we're pretty much done here. But if you wish to do stem effects, we can also map those on a separate pad mode. Now we could replace the scratch bank pad mode in the instant scratch section for easy flipping between the two stem modes. However, I actually like using scratch bank in this upper section because it gives me the ability to tone play four different songs instantly. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see a tutorial on that. So instead of scratch bank, I decided to replace the save loop pad mode, which is accessed by holding shift and clicking the hot cue pad mode button. You know you're in it when it's blinking because it's the secondary function to the pad mode button. This way, I'll have my stem functions on one pad mode, 
but I still have my original performative pad modes on the other button, which are scratch bank and sampler. So to MIDI map the stem effects, it's the same process, except we start by activating the save loop pad mode, which we're in right now because it's blinking. So let's do that now. Let's go into MIDI. Let's click vocal echo and map to pad one, instrument echo to pad two, instrument breaker to pad three, and drums echo to pad four. Now let's do that for both sides. Let's go into save looped on that side. Now let's close the MIDI mode. Now before we try this out, let's make sure we save our MIDI mapping in the Serato preferences. Go back to the cog wheel, go to the MIDI tab, and we can click save as stem rev7. Now if we ever use a different mapping, we can always refer back to this mapping file to reload our new stem mapping. So let's check out how this works. This track I'm using is Before It All Began by Jake Terra, and it's my official remix of it. Let's go in to Hot Cue, which is actually our stems, our new mapping for stems. You can mute the vocals, mute the melody, mute the bass, mute the drums. Now we can solo each one by muting all the others. Notice that not only does the stem parts mute, but it also follows the visual feedback of the stem buttons on the user interface to the LED lights of the buttons. Before we go on, if this video is helpful to you, please smash that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon. Now let's try the stem effects by activating save loop pad mode. Should be blinking. So here we go. Vocal echo. It echoes the vocals into the instrumental. Now instrument echo. Now instrument breaker. And drum echo. If you ever come across any issues or bugs pertaining to the MIDI mapping in Serato or notice anything strange going on, you can easily disable the MIDI mapping in the preferences by unchecking allow software remapping, or you can restore the original factory mapping by clicking restore to defaults. Now, if you don't want to go through the trouble of mapping the stem functions yourself, I'll give you a downloadable link to the pre-made stem mapping originally done by Professor BX. Simply download the XML file and drag it into the MIDI folder inside your Serato folder. Now go into your Serato preferences MIDI tab. Make sure the Rev7 is highlighted and check mark allow hardware remapping. Now select the MIDI mapping file from the list and click load. Now all your custom stem functions we talked about are now active on your DDJ Rev7. MIDI mapping in Serato opens so many possibilities for your DJ controller beyond the factory specs. It's there in the DJ software so you can turn your DJ gear to be perfect for the way you play. In another video, I showed how you can create a Q button on the DDJ Rev7. Follow this video if you want to find out how to do it. Thanks for watching, and remember, the force is with you always.